This video is sponsored by Fabulous. In a recent video on this channel, I described how simply squatting every single day could unlock your lower body mobility in a huge way. So what's the upper body equivalent of that? Well, as it happens, that would be hanging. So as an exercise, hanging is about as simple as it can get. You simply take a bar or a branch, any kind of anchor point, and you hang from it. Usually you use a pronated overhand grip, but there are lots of variations and there's lots of slight subtle differences in the way you hang and the results that that's gonna get you, which we'll talk about in a moment. First, why should you hang in the first place? Well, the first reason is that it can offer decompression on the spine. Essentially, you're creating traction so that the weight of your legs is elongating the whole spine. This is fantastic for creating more space and at the same time getting blood flowing into all that tissue. Moreover though, it can add a little bit of extension to a part of the body that's normally in flexion. Challenge time. Can you hang from a pull-up bar or a tree branch and take your t-shirt off without letting your feet touch the ground? A lot of people lack mobility and extension in thoracic and cervical spines because they're always in that curved over position. This not only increases risk of injury, it also hampers performance. This makes it nearly impossible to perform a straight handstand, for instance. The same goes for the overhead squat. The other issue here is shoulders. Once again, hanging can help to address this by getting you back into that overhead position. Not only will this restore a position that's useful for a range of tasks, it also reduces the likelihood of shoulder impingement, and it can even reverse existing issues in this regard. Dr. John Kirsch claims that hanging can actually physically move the acromion and reshape the coracochromial ligament to open up this space and allow for greater unimpeded movement. This makes a lot of sense to me. I've always wondered why it's so easy to cause shoulder impingement. Just doing push-ups wrong can cause this issue. Why can we so easily get into a position that's gonna hurt us? Seems like some bad evolutionary choices to me. Unless you acknowledge that we evolved in an environment where climbing and hanging, brachiation, were more common and sitting was far less so. Thus, primitive man had a physically different structure around this area and was therefore far less likely to cause injury. This is why I describe hanging as a fundamental human movement. It's something that is conspicuously absent from our modern routines and our bodies are worse off for it. We should be able to easily get our hands above our heads. It's why my three-year-old daughter has zero problem with shoulder dislocates, just like she can squat with these for minutes at a time. I want to be Batman. My three-year-old daughter shouldn't be kicking my ass at this stuff. Hanging is the perfect tool to get us back to where we should be at baseline. We're rediscovering basic skills we should never have lost in the first place. It's also why movement guru Edu Portal recommends a challenge where you hang for seven minutes a day to build up the missing mobility and strength. I think this is an excellent tip for beginners, but of course this is done cumulatively throughout the day, not in one go. Which makes it another great way to keep moving throughout the day and to be shaped by your environment. Make sure that you have some anchor points around your home. Of course, lots of hanging will also straighten out your posture as a result of this. A great blog, Petra Fisher Movement, explains how simply forcing shoulders back and puffing your chest out isn't a great solution to bad posture. This of course is what most of us do when we're told to stand with our shoulders back. All you're really doing, she argues, is tilting your rib cage to improve the appearance of your posture. It's a band-aid that doesn't address the root cause. Moreover, simply forcing yourself into a better position is not sufficient. You can't possibly remember all the time to bring your shoulders back and a little mobility training a few times a week is a very small stimulus compared to all those countless hours spent sitting. But hanging for minutes a day is a big stimulus. Hanging on a regular basis is a fantastic habit to form if you want to improve back and shoulder health, among other benefits. But how do you go about forming a habit? How do you overcome issues like lack of motivation or simply forgetting? That's where a habit tracker comes in. A habit tracker like today's sponsor, Fabulous, the number one self-care app to help you build better habits and achieve your goals. So Fabulous is a powerful tool that employs insights from behavioral science to help you form new habits and stick to them. You can select from a wide range of curated recommended habits or create new ones, such as hanging. You'll that way be reminded to actually do the thing so that you don't forget. As someone who likes to practice lots of smaller moves throughout the day, this is a great way for me to keep track of all that squatting, hanging and stretching. Not sure where to start? Fabulous comes with over 100 recommended habits to help you start improving right away. Or for an even more tailored experience, you can join in with challenges set by the team each week. These include a host of activities known to greatly improve your life, whether you're interested in nutrition, mindfulness, fitness, or even tidiness. Tidiness being my personal sticking point. Through circles, you'll be able to get support and ideas from members with similar goals to you. Fabulous is a genuinely great tool for those that want to make real change in their lives. After all, new habits and routines are meaningless unless you actually stick with them. Start building your ideal daily routine. 
the first 100 people who click the link below will receive 25% off their fabulous subscription. Another reason to hang is to build shoulder strength and stability in an inherently unstable position. This can again reduce the risk of injury and build a lot more strength for a range of other movements. This is where the distinction needs to be made between the dead hang or passive hang and the active hang. In dead hangs or passive hangs, you allow the shoulder to raise up by the ears and try to relax all the muscles as much as possible. This is best for mobility and you should feel that stretch on the pecs and the lats. It's also a great opportunity to practice relaxation and breathing during physical exertion. In an active hang, however, you depress the shoulders and you support your weight slightly. You want to keep your arms straight, but contract the shoulders and your core and make yourself rigid. This is best for stability and it can help with everything from your bench press to rock climbing. Ido and others recommend training a combination of both for optimal results. More profound still when it comes to your performance is the amazing work that hanging does for your grip. Hold onto a branch or a bar and after a while, you'll start to feel the burn in your forearms and your hands. This translates to a better grip in any lift, which means stronger lifts. It also means a great grip for climbing. So hopefully that's convinced you. Now how do you get started? Well, the key is to build up to this and not to work through pain. If you have a painful shoulder impingement, then hanging off of it will only exacerbate the issue. Instead, get into a position that you can hang comfortably with no pain. Potentially, this might mean supporting your weight slightly on your feet. But then as you improve, you can reduce the amount of support you give yourself more and more. For those with no issues, of course, the aim is to increase your time. So start with the aim of 30 seconds and build up from there. For those that want to take this further, there are lots of cool variations and ways to increase the challenge. Obviously, you can add weight. My favorite way to do this is by keeping a med ball between my feet, as this adds to the traction more so than wearing a vest. Hanging from one arm is also an option if you have the necessary strength. This is obviously a bigger grip challenge and greater for shoulder mobility. I also highly recommend getting outside and doing this on a tree branch. This massively increases the challenge as your hands will be at different heights and you'll probably struggle to get your thumb around the branch. This in turn forces you to grip as you would when climbing anything outside of the gym, making it more akin to a tactical pull-up. And sometimes the branch will even be wet. Keep in mind that it's sometimes hard to find the right type of tree with a nice horizontal branch. I've been to woods where I can't find a single one, so keep your eyes open throughout the day and make a note of them when you see them. Too small. I'm not an expert of trees, but I believe you call this one pull-up tree. My favourite variations also benefit from the space that a branch offers. So for example, traversing the branch sideways is awesome. It's fun, it feels practical, and it requires you to take all your weight on one hand for brief spells. A great precursor to other things. Or why not turn around on the spot? You can also lift the legs and hang in a V-sit in order to engage the abs and hip flexors a little more. Another great variation though is to swing. This can mean swinging from side to side, which creates a bigger dynamic stretch on the lats, or swinging forwards and backwards, which is a bigger grip challenge and builds even more shoulder and back mobility. Swinging is loads of fun, and it's great for building up to movements like the parkour or lache. Hangs are popular with tracers in general, so if you want to move like our friend Liam from Parkour Journeys, then you need this in your life. Monkey bars are even better for all this stuff. Don't worry, I left as soon as any children arrived. As a parent, I know how annoying it is when youths monopolise the playground youths like me. Oh, and did I mention that this is all great for the core too? Spend some time hanging and swinging and you'll feel it in your abs the next day. Big time. So what do you guys think? Will you be hanging and swinging? If you like this kind of training that combines mobility, strength, athleticism and more, then you might enjoy my ebook and training program, Super Functional Training 2.0. That program aims to target every aspect of performance in a way that's accessible and adaptable to all, and naturally it includes hanging. The product contains an 80 plus page ebook as well as over two hours of video tutorial walking you through every movement and every progression. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. Either way guys, thank you so much for watching this one. Please do like if you enjoyed the video, it really does help. And subscribe if you want to see more like this. The Batman training video is now very nearly finished. And of course, Bye for now.